How you doing? It's the Blake and Mandy show. No, it's not. <laughs> what? <laughs> you guys go have your own show because that's how done I am today. We do. It's called Pucks and Polishes. What is our show? The Nadine and Mandy show. Yes, because you are not Blake. Now, it's a pandemic happened that I might not see a show like you got a face going on and I I'm interested what's happening what later on um our producer added a note <sighs> Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh this is gonna be a good one today <laughs> capital a capital good capital one all right I, I, I get see you have judgment day magenta on raw and then Judgment Day Violet for SmackDown. Mm. <laughs> no? Yes? Maybe? <laughs> what about soft pretzels? You fucking Wisconsin ass bitch. What? <laughs> Fuck them kids. There you go. Yay. Probably the least movie person out of everybody here because I don't watch a lot of movies. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> so. But the one that bothered the shit out of me. And I, first. And I, <laughs> wait, what was that? <laughs> wow! Wait, what was that one? Shit was Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> what other ending are you looking for, Sal? <laughs> stop, stop. Uh, stop. Happy ending. <laughs> yeah, oh, Ohio! Uh, yeah, wrong one. Wrong one. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I'm guilty by association. I don't know why I just said that movie. That was the first movie that came to my head. I apologize. It's, 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 like, <laughs> it's like it's like it's like you see it's like you see those like inappropriate censorship videos online and all that stuff. Sal just pulled off that moment right now, and Blake is cr Blake is crying, like openly sobbing tears. I don't know why that was the first movie that came out of my mouth. Bless your heart, child. <laughs> you. um, oh so God, this is never gonna be a moment for us to be a Pete Jarvis. Who the fuck is that coming? <laughs> so the one and fucking Karen Jarrett, <laughs> blue corner. Why the fucking Karen Jarrett back on my television screen? It's 2023. <laughs> why, why is it that their entourage gets bigger? I don't get so, it. I don't understand it. It makes no sense to be Karen Jarrett back on my television in 2023. I left her behind in the TNA days. Why is she here? It's funny. <laughs> Seth Rollins versus Logan Paul. Um, not gonna lie, I'm more excited for this match than I probably should be. Um, no, don't be. Don't be. You're falling for the trap. Hey, hold on. Hang on. Hang on. There's a note that I read literally before we came on the air that this is actually Logan Paul's last match of his current contract. Good. That that's also a thing. That's an, and an, he's going to break his skull. Okay, there you go. The hatred for Logan Paul from Sal here. Holy crap. I, I fucking hate him. I fucking hate him. Fuck Wait, them did kids. You, did you let CJ in this chat? Nope. This is all Sal. <laughs> but, like, these constant interferences is just... It's getting old. It's like old news now. It's like, just, you know, you're supposed to be... The thousand day champion. You've had the title for three WrestleManias in a row. It's all the same reign. Same. Which is insane, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Which is insane. It's the same fucking title reign. You know, you gotta you gotta show that you belong there and that this isn't a fluke. And you know, having your cousin stick his thumb in someone's fucking windpipe isn't really a a, a trophy moment. You know what I mean? Like Spider walked up a wall and then like just hopped off and the the guard who was like supposed to be on duty watching to make sure you know people don't fucking escape from prison he got fired <laughs> no he, shit they had to fire him for negligence because oh, the my... murder escaped on his watch oh my god it's not funny someone died multiple people died this isn't funny but yeah i it's not funny, i think but I'm, I'm gonna laugh i'm um if Liv Morgan beats up Ronda Rousey again and Shayna Baszler again, <laughs> I'm going to th smash my head through a window because that is so not believable. I I'm writing down mm. time codes. <laughs> <laughs> <Time> code? <laughs>
Remember, so, we, we, this is this is being recorded, so we're gonna. I know that's why I wrote down a time code. There's a reason for that. That's like normal clipping music for Thursday. <laughs> Elmwood Park trash. Okay, um, Tom, what do you think? <laughs> oh boy, uh, um, if Liv Morgan beats up Ronda Rousey again and Shayna Baszler again, <laughs> I'm going to th- smash my head through. A window, because that is so not believable. I, I'm writing down time codes. <laughs> time code. <laughs> Remember, we, we, this is this is being recorded, so we're gonna. I know that's why I'm writing down a time code. There's a reason for that. That's like normal clip music for Thursday. <laughs> Elmwood Park trash. Okay, um, Tom, what do you think? <laughs> Oh boy. Uh, like especially for all the people that are like I don't want you to be sad at my we- at my funeral. I want it to be a, a celebration of life. So I think all celebrations yeah. of life should have death parades. Yeah. Should have a death parade, like decorate your cars, like it's a little float, get some paints, you know. Yeah. Parade that coffin around. Make it look like a float. <laughs> Drag me on the back. Pose me. <laughs> Put me out the sunroof. <laughs> I, when I die, I would like, I would like a statue of me to be made in roses, like the rose parade. Ooh, that yeah. could be like a contest. Who makes the best like Mandy themed float I'm, wins the funeral? I'm loving this. Yeah, because your competitive ass would have a fucking contest at your funeral. I would. <laughs> Listen, so listen, this, this is an NXT. They don't even belong on TV anymore. Like, they're not even relevant. Yeah, they are. Like, they fell. Like, you don't watch NXT. NXT is probably the best show on television right now, besides maybe this one line storyline. Like, I enjoy mm. NXT better than Rom. You don't watch it. <laughs> and it oh, because it's irrelevant. Here's the thing. Oh, like, oh. Their storylines are solid. They're pushing, you know, the right characters and, and right they murdered and people. That's awesome. I'm trying to trigger the kids in the basement. But Tony Angelo is literally in jail because they murdered people. Like that's awesome. I'm sorry. I, mean, I'm, I want to trigger the people that are living in their mother's basement. Your stick needs to be long and straight to play with me. Golf. If you haven't got the balls, you can't do me. Sexy golf. (laughs) You usually rub your tip before you shoot. Really sexy golf. (laughs) All right. My personal favorite. (laughs) My favorite comment. But I, I don't usually react. I, I figured we should come on the show, but I had to respond to this one because it pissed me off. Um, so Sal, this is right after WrestleMania. And we were talking, in Rome, and Sal went and said that he wanted to see Roman win more matches cleanly, which is fair. Absolutely fair. We're probably to hit 1,000 days, and it's absolutely okay. fair. Okay. This is something that pisses me off. We do a wrestling, well, not all wrestling, but mostly wrestling podcasts here. We talk a lot of wrestling. We're big fans. We'll talk about stuff later. I hate when someone comes at you. And this is, it happens all the time, and I cannot stand it. Right, this is that quote, quote what popped up on our YouTube. It's still up there if anyone wants to go respond. Um, mm-hmm. <laughs> wrestling is fake and planned out in advance. Everything is scripted out, and they speak to each other during the match. It's called you know, calling out your moves. Please don't take this so seriously. <laughs> okay. Wow. First of all, fuck you. Number two. <laughs> oh, there you go. I told you I was tipping Enough today. Said. I told you I was tipping today. Number Eesh. two. Eesh. Um, MJF does not have rhythm. Either is Adam Cole. This is Adam Cole. Yeah, but he's, Adam Cole is Jewish. Tried. What do you expect? <laughs> time, 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 time. Did you just say Jewish men don't have rhythm? Is that what you just said? Have you ever seen Jewish men do? No, I can't say I have. Oh, I mean. But there you go. <laughs> <laughs> because they can't. 
Oh Moving my right along. I have to <laughs> let the hateful messages on TikTok begin. I did not do that one. I see you as the Phoebe to my Monica. <laughs> I am a Monica in the streets and a Phoebe in the sheets. All right then. <laughs> Myself. Take it, go. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> that is the worst. That is the worst one yet. Are you kidding me? <laughs> okay. Well, look at that. We got blanket sound. <laughs> what the fuck? You know what? Celebrate. I feel bad. You know what? Sal, no, no. <laughs> for what my name is also messed up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> blanket sound. <laughs> I can't even go back. That's a that's bad. Uh, celebrate ten years of kicking ass in the podcast, and they don't pass. Don't go, Steve. Austin says congratulations. That was two sentences. Uh, I'm not going to. I'm not going to celebrate one. Okay. Uh, how am I going to celebrate one? I'll tell you how I'm going to celebrate. I'm going to take ten miles on my stone cold brew. Gets cold loggers, California. <laughs> what? <laughs> I think I found our Instagram clip for the show. <laughs> wow! What? I, I did what? not read. I did not read that in advance. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I think I know who it is. Well, yeah. but I know. I know who it is too. But blanket sound. <laughs> like, come on. Google, get your shit together, bro. Come on. Hey, instead of having true stereo sound, you get blanket sound. We're using Google Voice for 10 years. This may be the worst voicemail translation of all time. <laughs> yes. All right, let's hear it. We're looking at We got blanket sound celebrating 10 years of kicking ass the podcast and an old pal stone called Steve Austin said, congratulations. How am I going to celebrate one? How am I going to celebrate one? I'll tell you how I'm going to celebrate. I'm going to take 10 bottles of my Stone Cold Brugge Skull Lager to El Segundo Brewing Company out of California. I'm going to land this stuff in stuff down the bar. I'm going to slam them down one by one by damn one. Celebrating 10 years of kicking ass. Boys, congratulations. <laughs> I love how I love how Google Translate just like quit after we're in California. Like, no, yeah. no, no more. Okay, so the next bit I did read, and I didn't understand what happened because the clip is like a minute. <laughs> the clip is like a minute, and this is all like oh. Google Translate. This is all that came through. <laughs> <This is all laughs> that <came> through. <laughs> what? Dad, why don't you read what came through and then obviously play what's here? <laughs> Warriors playing on the on the first podcast from one step to another from sixteen times everywhere. Congratulations! <laughs> well, that's a testimonial. I ever heard one. I get the emails. So for those behind the, the behind the scenes, when we do the for this game, I get the emails with the translation. I don't really read them that much. I just want to make sure we got them. And I got this, and I thought it was an error. I thought it was an error. <laughs> they went to the app. Get to see, and it's exactly what was in the app too. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> what happened here? <laughs> what? But actually, I haven't heard the clip, but this is like, but it is, it's like two sentences, and the clip is like 50 seconds. So, like, <laughs> the funny part about it. So, here we go. Woo! We're playing it now. Ten years. Ten years. A decade of the best podcasting you're gonna ever get. And it ain't so <laughs> player. Congratulates to both of you, and he celebrates by rolling up a big old fatty for that Rick Flair trip, brother. Woo, you can go out and line and order yourself a brick, line it up, and then this is boy, he don't pump, pump ass, brother. Oh, no, no. He takes that bad boy to Broadway. Woo, he spoke to talent and enjoys himself some playing and south. So congratulations from one champ to another, from 16 times to every one champ you're the Congratulations. Woo, since it ain't so boy, Rick Flair. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! 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 
god, that was amazing. So, uh, <laughs> Rick, 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 Rick Flair is rolling fatties now, huh? I do want to just, uh, I do want to actually just say, I want to shout out to our boy, Kurt Hoffman. Incredible. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. Every time you do it, wait, I, I thank wait, you. Wait, 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 wait. That wasn't really Rick Flair. It's so that cold. Was, that was amazing. I have to just say, our boy. One of the funniest sure. things, I, and that is one of my favorite bits of all time. It's him when he goes to the start. <laughs> I, I laugh, I lose it every time. I'm so glad. I I that. I don't even have to ask him. I just messaged him and I said, We're doing voicemails. You know what to do. And I can do voicemails. <laughs> please, please. That's literally all I had to say. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my God. Because <laughs> the one thing that I hate, and I hate it, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it, is why I hate wrestling and social media. It's when you make other wrestling fans feel stupid. When you make other wrestling fans feel like they don't know what they're talking about. When they make other wrestling fans be like, well, you should have known that. You're, you're obviously not that big a wrestling fan because you didn't see that coming. Or you should know this person. Or blah, 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 blah. I hate that shit. It's one of my... I hate it. Hey, oh my god. It's a, I despise that attitude. And for wrestling fans out there that are listening to this, I know we have an audience listening to this. And I, I'll put this clip up for people to hear it. If this is your attitude, go fuck yourself. Because I am so sick and tired of people like, like for instance, when Vikingo came on AEW and no one knew who he is. If you don't watch your blood, you don't know who Vikingo is. And the answer was Google it. Instead of AEW, you know, doing the work and playing a video package or hyping it up and doing mm -hmm. something along those lines. Ended up being a great match, but I had the point. That's not my point. My point is stop making wrestling fans feel stupid because then all you're doing is hurting the fan base. And I'm sorry, wrestling is a niche product. We're a niche group. We don't, we're not like, we're, I know WWE is now being, got bought by Endeavor, blah, 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 blah. But at the end of the day, we're wrestling fans. Wrestling fans are a niche group. We are not the mainstream. I hate to tell people this. We're not mainstream evil. So stop acting like everyone knows everything. I'm so sick and tired of it. I just need to get into my system. It's been bothering me for weeks. And last week, I didn't have the time because they had so much shit going on. Okay. Take a breath. Okay. I'm done now. I just need to get done on my system. Let me see. I don't even care. This gets me fucking blocked by Booker T. He fucking ignores me. He ignores <laughs> me so fucking much. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> like, holy shit, that guy annoys me. Like, I don't even know what. There are times where we're watching and I look at me and I'm like, what did he just say? <laughs> I have the slightest. <laughs> what did he just say? Oh my god. Also, let's think about it this way, okay? Um, if Orange is a New Black taught me anything, it's that you don't need a weapon to do some damage in prison. Mm. Like, I could slock a bitch. You don't need a weapon to be violent. Yeah, I'm just wondering, because otherwise, I would say it's like the Golden Lovers with the cowboy threesome kind of a thing going on. Like, <laughs> oh, threesome. Oh, okay. <laughs> no. oh, we don't know. We don't know. We don't give fucks. We have no, we do not give any fucks at all. <laughs> We're professional journalists. <laughs> that we are not. <laughs> we are definitely not. For fuck's sake, we are professional journalists. <laughs> Titties. Billy and Chuck walked so that the Golden Lovers could run. Yes. Let's be serious. <laughs> <laughs>